Uh, so I shit. <laughs> Skip it a button, that up. Hey, Rich, you're milking the G4 TV drama for views. And you know what I would say to you? I would say yes. And so would so would they. Because review, it's free real estate, and free real estate I enjoy talking about USA. Tell your dad about my quality, family-friendly content. <laughs> um, well, I love myself a little bit of hypocrisy. Now, I'm going to make something abundantly clear. I'm all about giving people second chances. I have said and done things in the past before which were dumb. I regretted. I've apologized for. And I've grown as a person, and I feel other people can too. But when there are people on soapboxes preaching as if they are the epitome of perfection, and thou shall not do these things, it's weird! It's weird! It's weird! Well, shout out to It's a Gundam. Um, I don't agree with all of his takes. We were talking about that last night, but the information he had about uh, G4 hosts that I didn't know, so I'm sure a lot of you didn't know, was quite interesting. Now, I'll have a link below to his entire video. I'm not going into all the details, but the things that I heard there about Kevin Pereira and Corey Smallwood, known as the Black Hawkage, or Hokage, uh, whatever, um, are quite interesting. Quite interesting. And what we're going to start off with is Kevin Pereira, when he had his own show, The Show, uh, he was caught view botting on Twitch, which should get you permanently banned. Like, you are banned for good. You cannot go on another platform on there. I'm sure there's something in the contract that gets him to dodge it, but it's just funny, the hypocrisy. But if you got caught view botting, you're done. You cannot be have a channel on Twitch. You are permabanned. You can't be a partner. It's over. You blew it. You blew it. Well, anyway, this comes from Polygon.com. This is from 2018. Okay, this is a while back um, where he admits like, yeah, I was trying to keep the show afloat. So I tried to bring in fake viewers. So hopefully the people saw there was a lot of viewership. So real people would come in. Anyway, this is what he had to say. I'll read it to you. Then we'll discuss and then we'll get into the uh, black hawkage and uh Hakoge? Black Hakoge? Just mock me in the comments section below. But anyway, let's talk about Kevin Pereira, what he admitted to, and uh, how hypocrisy is incredible. Now here he's admitting to Polygon that he did view bot. So I quote, I explicitly said that I had nothing to lose and was very flippant about it and said, well, a way to get discovered on the platform is to have a channel that's getting more views, Pereira said. So instead of trying to make the content better or refocus my energy, Jesus Christ, he actually says, ah, instead of, wow, with the limited time we had left, I decided to shortcut it and try to get some extra views on the channel. I'm going to try and help the team land on their feet and try to get them jobs elsewhere, Pereira continued. Clearly, it was a mistake, no kidding, but my personal hope is that it becomes the footnote. I know it's the story right now, I get that, but I hope that it becomes the footnote. I tried to save jobs, I really did, and hope that in the end, I didn't do any irreparable damage to people's careers. You, you did, <laughs> without question. Now, when you look at the numbers on Twitch, I, I see a lot of people out there uh, saying it's suspect that they're, you know, they're getting a, like more viewership at times than they have uh, followers. But I look all over and the numbers are all over on there. Now, it could very well be the case that there is something sketchy going on behind the scenes. I know they have a brand deal with Twitch, so Twitch, I'm sure, is making sure the G4 TV content rises to the top. Uh but I would say, too, why is Kevin Pereira allowed back on the platform? I guess the technicality is G4 TV is not his own channel. But the, you had someone who was trying to game the system that admitted to trying to game the system. And it's not a good look. It's just really bad optics that he would be allowed back on Twitch. Just saying. Um, <laughs> that's something I have never once resorted to view botting. And I just think it's really scummy when people do. And it's just, you know, again, I'm sure it's his contract that lets him skirt around it because he is not the owner of G4 TV. 
but nonetheless, just still, it's a head scratcher. Now, you'll remember this very outspoken gentleman that was next to Indiana Black. It's weird! <laughs> it's weird! Uh, his name is actually Corey Smallwood, and he is the Black Hokage Hokage. I don't know. Okay, I went and triple checked. It's the Black Hokage. I couldn't find how the hell to say his name before, but it is the Black Hokage. There you go. I said it right for you. My apologies. Anyway, well, he was the one saying after Indiana Black said that, you know, guys were doing things to themselves while looking at and she went into the whole rant and he was as weird. It's weird. Right. So he, he must have never have done anything like that before. But except he has said creepy stuff like that before on many, many, many occasions. <laughs> Here are a few examples. Shout out to It's a Gundam for getting these bangers. Take a look. It's a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. Added a hot tub, like a hot tub streamer category. Uh-huh. How do you, you think about that? I mean, cool. It's separated like by category right now, so it's easier to find. I'll be watching naked. Are we on the same website? Yeah, no. Well, what does the website have to do with me watching oh, naked? Oh, you are watching naked. Yeah, I'll be watching naked with nothing but my Tim's on. <laughs> Sassy, anyone? <laughs> It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Hey, she cooking, y'all. May God strike me down. Every woman that I've ever told me they don't swallow. And every woman that sucked my swallowed. Thoughts. They be lying, bro. They be fine because you know what you, you know what you tell them, you tell them be like nah I like swallow. What? Hey hey, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta drop you Son, why do all white lesbians look like Barney Rubble from the Flintstones? Pete's. Those are all things that the Black Hokage has said, and one of them definitely had to be fairly damn recent because he was talking about the hot tub streamers where he sits there watching him with nothing but his Timberlands on. That is that is a sight that I don't want to think of. Okay. All right. So, look, I'm all about people could change their takes and giving people second chances, but that's multiple occasions at different time periods. He was talking about uh, performance with women and things that they did. I thought it was weird to talk about like that stuff like that on the internet, bro. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. Look. I, I know that people over at G4 see my videos. Um, this has nothing to do with sexism. I am very pro LGBTQ and always have been. So maybe take it for me. I know there's other people that are, <laughs> but take it for me. It has this, you doing things G4, like making your chat members only that they have to wait for a month. You're only feeding into this. Sexism is a thing, but first off, just like David Jaffe said, to say that Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb didn't exist on G4 TV to be good on the eyes for you is factually not true. And to go on this soapbox and then have the Black Hokage next to her on that soapbox with her when he blatantly over various time periods was just as weird as the people she was calling out. And then on top of it, your content is just painfully mediocre that you're just pumping it out like a factory that people sitting there with their smartphones with a decent lighting kit in their basement are out producing you. No one cares about the nostalgia. It was a different time when G4 was relevant. There wasn't the options there were now due to Twitch and YouTube and all the other platforms. And then you combine in all the virtue signaling. Maybe if you had good content, you would just be able to, this would just blow over, but you don't even have that. And everyone knows that Adam Sessler is one of the most embittered games journalists quite possibly ever, and he's blatantly admitted to it. G4 doesn't have a chance in hell, and that's just the reality of it, even if this disaster didn't happen. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. <laughs>